everybody. Welcome to my channel, Thrifting Adventures. So I'm going to show you a recent estate sale haul that I purchased last weekend. Um, I decided to do it outside here on a towel because it's so beautiful here in the northwest. I'm located in Washington. It's about 80 degrees today and it's gorgeous. So um, I went to this estate sale. It was the second day of the sale, so everything was 50% off. So um, I only had $40 on me in my wallet because it was a last minute decision and I spent exactly $40. <laughs> I had to put a few things back. Um, some of the things I bought were so colorful and fun. Um, I bought these beautiful enameled vintage brooches along with matching earrings. Sometimes these can, these can sell pretty well online or on live sales. Um, I tried to pick ones that are in really great condition, like this peach one. And I'm not sure if these go together, but it's like the same coloring. So pretty. And then this one I actually found outside a few blocks from the sale. And I don't know if it dropped or something, but I just found it in the bushes. I don't know. I picked it up. Uh, this one I thought was so cool mid-century fun and oranges are coming back if you go into Target Everything is like bright oranges and yellows and fun 1960s retro colors So all these were half off. So everything was just like a dollar two dollars fifty cents I thought these were really cool these mid-century little oil and vinegar containers and they have the original corkscrews so I think I paid $2.50 for the pair. And a lot of times the paint will be worn off on these. But the paint on these oh, were still in really great condition. I've never seen these in such great condition. Hardly anywhere. Then I got this fun little postcard. It was really colorful. I kind of like these fun postcards. This one was from 1934. So almost 100 years. About 90 years old. And it was in really excellent condition. Then I did get these fun patterns. These patterns are from the 1950s and 60s. It's hard to find these patterns anymore. A lot of times I'll see the 70s, 80s, 90s. Um, but it's hard to find like the mid-century patterns. So I picked these up. I think they were just a dollar each. I do plan on reselling these. Uh, I did find these beautiful clip-on earrings i love the ones with the gorgeous rhinestones i thought these were such good condition sometimes i'll use these for like decorations i have a tree that is just filled with these beautiful vintage earrings it looks so cool i got this beautiful brooch here with the blue rhinestones gold tone i don't believe it's marked but I thought that was really pretty. I got this antique cameo brooch. It is light, light pink with a little bit of white over it. Now the back really shows its age because it has that little hook clasp. So this is at least around 100 years old. And you can usually tell by the clasp in the back. So I did pick up this piece. Another beautiful antique piece is this mother brooch that is uh, on a shell here that has a little heart with a little uh, rose, no, not rose color, kind of like a red stone. Um, again, it has that, let me see if I can see it. Oh no, it does have a newer clasp. I believe this is probably from like the 1940s. Actually, no, this is loop clasp. No, no, this is like 1930s, 20s. So this is around 100 years old too. This is an antique. Then I got this gold chain here. I have some pendants I think that would look good on this gold chain. So I picked this up, just gold tone. Um, I got these silver toned hoops and these are clip-ons. I do have people requesting clip-ons that don't have pierced ears. And it's very hard to find more modern pieces. So that's why I picked these up because people that don't have pierced ears still want to wear the fun little hoops, simple hoops. So I picked those up thinking of people that would like to purchase them. I also got a lot of these beautiful, fun 
1960s retro scarves and hankies. Some of them are silk, some of them are cotton or rayon, but they're all just beautiful, bright colors. This one is Vera, made in Japan. This is all mid-century. Here's another one. These are cotton ones, but these are vintage Janssen, made in USA. These are actually a little harder to find. A lot of times I'll find the silk ones, but I don't often find the Janssen cotton ones. And again, the colors, oranges and yellows, are really making a comeback. Here is another one. This is another vintage one then i have like this rose colored hanky thought that was really pretty red white and blue i thought this would be great for fourth of july wearing it in your hair got a couple of these cute little hankies here just for a dollar each and not a huge profit but i do plan on making a profit from these selling them for a little bit more than what i paid for them again this is another jansen made in us one i just love the peacock pattern on this and again this is a cotton one they're a little harder to find and i'm not sure why a lot of times i'll find the silk ones but yeah so this is all the jewelry all the patterns the mid-century oil and vinegar the postcard and everything here I paid $40 for. That's all the money I had in my wallet, but I think it was well worth it. Now, if you're interested in any of these items, you can definitely email me. I will post it down below and I can give you a price. And I usually get paid through PayPal and I ship through Pirate Ship and I'm in Washington State. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. And until next time, see you later. I forgot to show this beautiful piece of art. I actually have one very similar to it. It is a Japanese art where they take natural bark and branches and moss and they design a beautiful landscape. So it has like a 3D effect. It was kind of hidden in this estate sale. It was half off, so I only paid $7.00. This is something I'm not reselling that I'm going to be keeping, but I almost forgot to show it and I wanted to share it with you. I do not know how old it is, but it is all ready to be hung. It's got a nice wood backing to it. And yeah, I'm in love with this piece. It's very beautiful. I love how they did it and it's in great condition.